friends! So today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual. I know I usually only post like song covers and stuff. But basically we are redoing my room and today we are going through my bookshelf. So I'm going to sort through the massive pile of books before me and set up my bookshelf because I feel like it. So yeah! We got Mockingjay. This is gonna go in like the dystopian fiction pile. I have not read this book yet. Put it there, it's fine. Kite Runner. This book was very sad. I don't really have an order right now, I'm just kind of reading. I love this book. It's very fun. It's a retelling of the Odyssey. It's pretty cool. Love it when there's no summary on the back. <laughs> when you find a French valentine in your book. This says, let me die, please, in French. And I'm pretty sure I'm the one who wrote it. Let's just leave that in there. So this is a young adult fiction novel, Black Beauty, horse book. I have too many horse books. Well, technically speaking, this is a horse book, but I also haven't read it yet, so I don't know how much of a horse book it is, so I'm just gonna leave it in the magical realism pile. This is fiction. It's about a girl who gets stolen. I mean, it's literally called the Girl Stolen. Also, <laughs> most of my books are stolen. It's not intentional, I just forget to give them back. This is not my fault, I forget. I'm sorry, okay? This is a non-fiction novel. This is Anne of the Island, which is part of Anne of Green Gables. We have Anne of Avonlea which is in the same series, so we'll put those in the pile. The One. I'm gonna put it in like the dystopian fantasy genre place thingy. This is anything but typical. I read this book really recently, actually, for the first time. It's really good. It's about an autistic 12-year-old named Jason Blake. It's pretty cool. In Other Lands! I love this book so much. It's very pretty. The cover's so pretty. I love it. I love this book when my friends recommended it to me. Shout out to Nighty. Diary of a Wimpy Kid! Uh, I don't even- we'll just put it here. Now, in its own separate little pile. Canterwood Crest. So here's the thing, I only have two of the Canterwood Crest books, and they are not the first ones. They are like, seventh in the series? Not entirely sure, but they're very amusing. This is also like middle grade fiction. This is also the second book in this series, and I'm gonna be honest, I kind of prefer the sequel. I read the sequel first, then I read the first book. But I like the sequel better. Alias. I have a couple of these Alias books. Alias was a TV show. There are, are a couple of like prequel novels. Dear Dumb Diary. I think this goes with like the Diary of a Wimpy Kid pile. How to Steal a Dog. This is a fun book. It's about stealing a dog. This is an audition book. I have a lot of books that are like in this very specific genre where it's like animal arc. Um, another one would be like vet volunteers. I have a lot of these. The Secret Garden. I'm gonna put this in like the classic style. Guinea dog! Okay, I love this book. It's about a guy who really wants a dog, but instead his family gets him a guinea pig. But the guinea pig acts like a dog, so win-win, you know? The Truth Game. I have actually not read this book. Black Beauty is gonna go in the classics pile. As well as this Black Beauty. I have two different Black Beauties. One of them is shorter than the other because I think this is like a children's version. Critiques. This is the second book in the Ugly series. I have the first book too. I, I have a lot of like sequels to books, but this is one of the ones where I do actually have the first book as well. Stella Adler, The Art of Acting. This goes in the acting pile. Secret Diary of Anne Boleyn, another audition book. Anne of Green Gables goes in the classics pile. The Little Princess. I, I have not read this book, but it literally says charming classics on it, so I'm gonna say it goes in the classics pile. Dewey! I actually haven't read this book, but it's about a cat. So it's gonna go in the animal pile. Flipped. I have not read this book, but I watched the movie, so I know what it's about. The Other Eden. I have not read this. I feel like this has, like, historical fiction vibes. Another Alias book. The Uglies. I told you I had the first one. My Summer of Pink and Green. This is another sequel, but I like it. It's fun. This is a stitching book. Wonder. A fangirl. Another young adult coming of age novel type thing. Stargirl. The line between young adult novels and middle grade fiction is... It exists, but I don't really like to think about it. This is a cat book, but this is not a fiction cat book. This is just like... Pictures of some cats, so that's a deceptive thing. Marley, though, goes in the dog and the cat pile. This is another non-fiction cat book. Poems by cats. A Tale Dark and Grim, Ready Player One. Another acting book. The Sun is also a star. This is one of my favorite books. I love it so much. I have not read this book. I'm gonna put it in the same pile as like Diary of Kid, though. Same thing with this book. I, I have a lot of books I haven't read yet. Everything, Everything, another book that I absolutely love. Catching Fire goes in this pile. The List. This book is so mysterious. Like, I've never seen anyone else who had read this book. It's very fun. I like it a lot. To Kill a Mockingbird is gonna go in the classics pile. Audition book. Instructional manual on how to 
raise a rat. This is a non-fiction book about dog breeds. All the bright places you're gonna go with young adult novels. Now that I'm seeing this, literally like over half of these books are stolen from uh, school and class libraries. Sorry. Looking for Alaska. Young adult. <laughs> this pile is getting big. I didn't realize how many young adult novels I have. Be More Chill is technically sci-fi. But I'm gonna put it in the young adult pile because like the themes are more young adult than sci-fi. Elite is gonna go in the fantasy. Fifth wave, same thing. Binge, actor's life, just my luck. This is definitely a Diary of the Wimpy King kid kind of pile. Death of a salesman. Oh no, things are falling. Another Canterwood Crest novel. Island of the Blue Dolphins. The Last Holiday Concert. Very much a, a children middle grade novel. Hoppy. I feel like this book was kind of scary for some reason. Like I remember reading this and being scared. I don't know why. The Selection. I used to have two copies of this. I think I gave one away though. I don't know why I had two copies, but one of them I actually did buy, but The Hunger Games. Counting by Sevens. This is a good book. It's very sad. Like, I mean, it begins with literally her parents getting killed. So. An Ember in the Ashes. Girl in Pieces. Very much young adult novel. Will make you cry. Do not read if you are in an unhealthy space mentally. Sherlock Holmes, definitely a classic. The Forest Full of Friends. This is The Little Prince. Okay, Snowbird. This is a horse book. I swear I had a horse pile. Don't know where that went. I used to have a couple of books that were like a very specific genre, which is like animal romance, which is not what you think it's, it is. It's like romance novels that involve an animal. Not like that. Like, for instance, like, a girl gets a puppy from, like, a shelter, and the shelter boy who works there is cute. It's like that genre. It's a very specific genre, and I used to have a lot of books in it. I think I gave most of them away, though, because, like... I have two more alias novels. Is The Wrinkle in Time a classic? Yeah, I'm gonna say it is. Crooked Kingdom and Six of Crows. These books, I did not steal. I bought them with my own money, because I love them so much. And they actually have their own separate pile, because these are my favorite books ever. So they have their own little place that I want them to go on my bookshelf. I don't know where that place is going to be yet, but it's going to be a place. Cinder! God, this pile is getting very large. The Incredible Journey. Days on the Farm is about animals. Guinness World Records and party book. And here's a horse book. This is another cat book. I told you, it's a very specific genre that I have a weirdly large amount of books. And this is a whoopie pies book. It's about making whoopie pies. Okay! I think we are done sorting books. Now it's time to arrange them. Every day will make me feel this way. All right, and with that, we have finished making the bookshelf! I'm gonna give you guys a little tour. All right, so we're gonna start at the top and work our way down. First of all, we have this painting thing. Then we have this box. This is like school stuff. And then we have Six of Crows duology because they needed their own special space. Then this is like electronics. <laughs> then we have um, classics. And then we have this cute little notebook. And then we have our alias series, and then a uh, fun little put downs and zingers book that didn't really fit in any, any of the other categories, so I just kind of put it there. And a little uh, pillow. And then also this candle holder, which I will put a candle in eventually. Then we have <laughs> my tiny historical fiction section. Then we have cat books, and then dog breeds, and then this Six of Crows candle that my friend Sophie got for me. It's very good. Um, and then here we have like children's middle grade fiction stuff. Um, and then here is my young adult section ruler. Uh, this is, there's one young adult book here because it just wouldn't fit. But <laughs> this is Animal. And then this is a little notebook, a little croquet mallet mini thing. And then we have nonfiction books. Um, and then we have a nice little box that my friend Lily gave to me. And then we have uh, these books, which were like Magical Realism and then Kite Runner, which is its own category. <laughs> Um, and then, down here, we have binders, folders, and then we have this little box. This is like makeup stuff. Um, so, yeah. And then over here, we have notebooks. We have notebooks. Back here is like notepads and then um, clipboard. And then we also have this fun little like 
letter set thing, which is fun. Microphone, headphones, um, which I managed to put up on the wall using the, like, these things that you, like, put the shelves on, which was just kind of fun. And then we have audition acting book stuff. Um, we have my, like, fantasy dystopian sci-fi section thing. Um, we have some more notepads, pencil box, um, yearbooks, and also Guinness World Records because it fit there. Uh, and then other stuff and computer. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this isn't my like normal type of video. So thanks for sticking in there.